We've also done it in a way if a product is on sale and we have to cover the shelf tag with a sale sign, um, the logo is still there and evident. We hope that that's helpful to people and that folks can ask questions if they have additional needs or knowledge. We've got the brochures, a publication that the non-GMO project does monthly. There's a more in-depth magazine. Um, we have those available for people to take at the front of the store. This was a project that the board was very interested, our board of directors was very interested that we do. They were very excited to see it completed. There's been not very many customer questions that I have fielded and when I have asked um, the grocery team or others up front, we haven't had many questions um, that I'm aware of. So you could say the reaction is good in that people got the information that they were looking for or they haven't noticed it yet. It was relatively painless. The list is available. Actually UNFI, is, they have different flags on their products in their catalogs for organic or kosher or sugar-free or low sodium and they've integrated also the non-GMO project verified as a part of that. So it's fairly easy to look up if you're researching the catalog and then just do a search with what's in your database. And the non-GMO project has a list, similar list, to go to look at your brands. So really it's pretty, pretty easy once you decide how you're going to do the labeling. And this one other person and I did in one afternoon and one morning. Thank you all. Please don't hesitate to ask if you have more questions. Thank you.